Hey guys, back with another video and this is the Force USA Safety Squad Bar. The current, current badge is um, chrome instead of black, but I think it's pretty nice. Um, sorry, it's just my dogs drinking. <laughs> I chucked a few plates on to see that bumper plates fit um, just fine on this bar. You know, I feel there's a few like you know, specialty bars or safety squad bars where they don't fit. Also has spinning Olympic colors. Um, yeah, you see that camber. No, you can't see because I've got the plates on. Slightly um, offset to the actual handles, which is good. The whole bar is around 25 kgs, or that must be like 55 pounds. Um, very happy with that bar. The only thing that I improved was that padding wasn't quite enough, in my opinion. It also um, could have been a bit tighter. So what I did, you can see that here, I put, bought a bit of um, one inch pipe insulation and taped it up with a bit of black tape and then stuck that pad back on. And that's absolutely perfect now. So if you're thinking of purchasing that bar, that's a really good improvement just to buy this pipe insulation and a bit of black tape for a few bucks and do that. Um, yeah, what else can I really say to that bar? It's exactly the same length as a normal barbell, which was one of the reasons I purchased that one. And the fact that I never had any issues with Force USA equipment. As you can see, I've got the Force USA MyRack, Force USA barbells and specialty barbells and the football bar and the Force USA um, seated hack squad. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this bar. And oh yeah, what I wanted to say, it's exactly the same length. I will show you later when I put it in the upright storage, which um, to me was an important point because otherwise um, it's getting too high for my ceiling. It's a 2.4 meter ceiling. And yeah, if it's getting too high, then I can't store it upright. And I don't really want to start having another storage like mounted, wall mounted storage just for one um, specialty barbell. So yeah, any questions, just put it in the comments. If you need any measurements or anything and I'm happy to answer that for you. I hope this helps a bit if someone thinks of purchasing that bar and yeah let me know what you think. I'm very happy with the exercise. It's a bit um, gives your elbows a bit of a break I find because with the using a computer mouse all day in my job I just like to give my elbows a bit of a break so I like the the handles there and now I can do head field squats that's why I've got those um, pins in there and um, what else yeah it's it's a bit more challenging especially when you first use that bar because of that camber it makes it like it transfers the center of the weight a bit more onto your your shoulders, it lines up with your shoulders, and it also means it's um, you really feel it in your abs. So, if you want good core exercise, this bar is great. Now, it's a great addition if you're thinking of buying one. Um, this is a sort of middle, middle class price range, so it's not completely crap like some online stores or some really cheap ones on Amazon or so. So it's somewhere in between. It's obviously not a Rogue or Elite FTS or anything like that, but it's a nice in-between sort of price range value for money, I guess. So yeah, pretty happy with that. And yeah, it's a great addition for a home gym, especially, I think. So yeah, as I said before, any questions just post it in the comments and I'm happy to answer. Yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.